The story that I did my band book project on is The Story of Little Black Sambo by Helen Bannerman. The story's really long, so I'm only going to read a short bit of it, the part that really shows why it was banned, and I'll explain the reasons afterwards. And they came, rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where Little Black Sambo was hiding, but he jumped quickly in behind the umbrella. And the tigers all caught a hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled, and so they found themselves in a ring around the tree. Then, while the tigers were wrangling and scrambling, Little Black Sambo jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers! Why have you taken off all of your nice clothes? Don't you want them anymore? But the tigers only answered, Grr. Then Little Black Sambo said, If you want them, say so, or I'll just take them. But the tigers would not let go of each other's tails, so that all they could say was, Grr. So Little Black Sambo put on all of his fine clothes again and walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry. But still, they would not, go, they would not let go of each other's tails. And they were so angry that they ran around the tree trying to eat each other up. And they ran faster and faster until they were rolling, rolling around so fast that you couldn't even see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster and faster till they all just melted away and there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter around the foot of the tree. Now Black Jumbo was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot, pot in his arms. And when he saw what was left of the tigers, he said, Oh, what lovely melted butter. I'll take that home to Black Mumbo for her to cook with. So he put it into the great big brass pot and took it home to Black Mumbo to cook with. When Black Mumbo saw the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now, she said, we'll have to make some pancakes for supper. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter, and she made a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made. And they were just as yellow and brown as the little tigers. And then they all sat down for supper, and Black Mumbo ate 27 pancakes, and Black Jumbo ate 55 pancakes. But little Black Sambo... He ate 169 because he was so hungry. And that's the end of the story. The Little Black Sambo was banned because of the inappropriate use of melted butter, insinuating that blacks like blood, uh, bright clothing as well as have large appetites. This was banned in 1970 in Chicago and Toronto. Thank you.